Okay. Uh, let's start. We've, had, we've had James here over our shoulder. Does he look happy? Look at him. That's my point. He's mad. He, well, was he a, won the Big Ten. He's still angry because he picture. lost the last game. You got to think like a coach. Nobody's happy. Well, I'd be happy if I were him because I'm the defending champs. Yeah. I have a lot of star power back. But that brings some expectations with it as well. He's got an offense, too, that can that gives them a chance to win every game by, by scheme. I mean, Joe Moorhead has done an unbelievable job. Trace McSorley's back. And defensively, I mean, we see in practice, they're talented. I mean, they, they are big, they can run, and he is on a roll recruiting. He's number one right now in the, in the Big Ten in recruiting. I know that can change. But when James came to Penn State, and I, I thought this was unfair. He had the reputation as a great recruiter. I watch him at practice. I think he does both. I think he does the XSL and the recruiting thing. So, yes. Now, this is crazy, whoever. Are they going to be complacent because they won the Big Ten? It's hard to repeat, but they did lose the Rose Bowl. So, th this is kind of like Iowa, the year they went undefeated and lost in the Rose Bowl. You know, you, you, you can't tell the players we had a bad year. But you can tell the players, hey, it was great we won the Big Ten Championship, but, you know, we can be better. But, see, I would think that you would have a pretty strong argument to get the guys to believe that they are still undervalued as a program, right? Hey, we beat Ohio State. They still didn't pick us yeah, that's for great. the college that's football point, playoff. Man. I mean, you get that. No, we still aren't respected. We're the Big Ten champs, and no one respects us. I think... And you add in, you know, bringing back 99% of your rushing yards and 70% right. of your receiving yards and 70% of your tackles. And so it's not just try to rally them with words. You've got the talent, too. I think that's a pretty potent combination. Let me ask you this. Has that changed the way you look at the college football playoff selection committee, the way it went down at Ohio State went and then Penn State won the conference and looked good in the Rose Bowl? Because it, it's changed my opinion. You know, because I'm an, eye, I, I'm an eye test guy. I want to watch the tape. I don't want to look at anything well, else. Well, change how I look at it in what sense? Who should be in it every year? In other words, should, right. we, should we have valued, like Jim Delaney said, he got voted down, but should a conference championship be more valued than it, than it proved to be last year? Yeah. I, I you know, look, I, what happened with Ohio State didn't shock me. It shocked me they got shut out, but, but I think we had wondered about their offense all year. Yeah. So I'm not sure you can build a hard and fast rule and say conference champ or not a conference right. champ. But I think by the end of the year, you could have constructed a very strong argument that Penn State was the better team.